My name is Rachel Rupnow, and I study undergraduate math education. Now, when I tell most people I've just met this sort of thing, they say, oh, I was never any good at math. And then I wonder where that belief came from, because math is essentially about problem solving, and people don't say, oh, I was never any good at problem solving. Well, why does this matter? Let's think about how students are going to approach a math class depending on what they believe about math. Suppose student one thinks that math is a jumble of rules, and student two thinks that math is about connecting structures and connecting ideas. Well, student one's probably just gonna memorize those rules, whereas student two is going to think about how and why those ideas connect and how to apply them flexibly. And now, let's take a step back for a moment. Where did these students get these ideas? Was there something specific in instruction that did this? Do teachers believe these things? Well, that's essentially what I study. Specifically, I look at what do teachers believe about math, what comes across in their instruction, and what do students take away? Using a similar line of questions, I also study content understanding. Specifically, what do math teachers understand about math, what comes across in their instruction, and what do students take away? Now, I study this at the college level, but the course I study is required for future high school and middle school math teachers. And so, what's happening with the students that I study is very much connected to what's happening with teachers coming to your communities. Thank you.